Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I keep telling y'all that, you know, you're resonating with the content of my videos and you're sharing them and you know really telling me that you can relate to the issues that I'm currently dealing with or I have dealt with is truly a blessing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell you know if you have and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video that's what I was trying to say and if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times right now, need confirmation or validation towards their life path, or even our soul purpose, you know, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to you know resonate with the content of my video and so uh today i'm listening it is so beautiful i love this um and I, it has a beautiful picture too as well is uh the meditation music i'm listening to right now it's called delta wave sleep tranquility and harmony dream catcher sleep meditation music and i will post that link in the description box below and um my video today is about the most painful experience of staying stuck in a place that you don't belong and it is so true it's just like you know we all go through trials and tribulations we have our ups and downs we experience hurt pain anger all that stuff even type of confusion you know it's just a lot of y'all has been gravitating towards me and has dealt with you know child abuse sexual abuse any kind of abuse that you've experienced to where it has left you in a box you know some of us has been you know labeled with these illnesses or whatever you know growing up if you ever had to seek therapy and stuff like that but it's just like when you have gone through that awakening state universe allows you to see everything like from fresh new pair of eyes like you just went and got eye surgery and they did LASIK so you start to see everything like nits and crannies and it's just like you know for the new day and age it's like you're graduating you know it's just like you know your, your life has been your life they then they test you on your life to see is you know are they still doing the same things they were doing or they have evolved or you know they became stronger you know they took their strength back they the parts that they were weak they're they're strong a lot you know everything is aligned everything is balanced no matter what it became and it's like that's how I look at my life you know it's just like yesterday my birthday and it just made me allowed me to see things you know really see things it's like you know it, it was a it was like a a depressing day for me because it, it just gave gives me that you know all the things that I've been through when it came to my my birthday was like a lot of things it, it was just like finding out you're adopted on your birthday finding out this on your birthday you know all these different things and it was just like wow you know like what is this year gonna bring but it actually brought me some you know it's not somber but it, it brought me so much knowledge that I'm grateful for I had to tell the universe thank you for allowing me to see things you allowed me to test the waters and say okay you still want to deal with that uh, no you know it's just like that's my 3d my old 3d version I, I, I don't want to deal with stuff like that I'm a new different person I can't go about things like I used to go about things you know just because somebody else will be able to do it don't don't cut them or you know look down at them for being able to do it that way but I just can't be that way and it's like that's where the true strength come in you know like I you know like I told y'all I used to smoke weed and stuff like that just to be able to cut down the you know all the energy was coming towards me hearing all the different voices in my head being able to hear a lot of spirits and stuff like that people coming to talk to me and it was like everything coming at at once and you know being able to experience that all over again yesterday it was like you know what I don't feel like I fell off the wagon but it allowed me to say 
okay do you do you want this still in your life anymore okay because you have evolved in so many different ways this is your choice and universe had me test that water like that and it was just like we're gonna see where her answer is gonna be and they were like okay she passed with fine colors because i said this is not my life anymore this is not how i can go about things anymore i can't do it that way even if i wanted to i just can't you know even when things get hectic do i want to fall back off do i want to fall back off the handle no i don't you know, it's just it, this is how I'm going to deal with my stress or, you know, things that, you know, I'm hurt by. No, you, you got to face them head on. And it's just like, if you want to be able to get out that stage of your life that you are truly seeing, you know, peace for, you have to be able to not go about things you want to. You know, it's just like, I remember I read this post talking about you can't go, you know, it's like dealing with things. You can't go about the old ways that you dealt with things before. You have to do try something totally new. And it, it, I mean, that in that post was not lying, <laughs> you know, because it was like one of those empaths. Uh, like I tell y'all, I'm on Facebook. So I go on the group Namaste or the uh, empaths, enlightened ones and stuff like that. And they really put down some eye openers like, heck, that is so true. And it's like when I see that. And I'm just like, I can't go about things like I used to. This is a whole new different ball game. So you have to try another way of dealing with it. But deal with deal with it at a negative, I mean, not a negative, but a positive approach. Being able to see it from all different perspectives. Because if you know you're trying to rise above and get towards something that you truly want in life, you know you're going to have to go at it strong. You know, it's just like, you know, when I constantly tell y'all, when you heal, you got to take your powers back, especially from people that have placed a lot of things on you. And I know it can be hard, trust me, I know. But that's when you know you have graduated to that next step. When people have placed things in your life that has hurt you in so many different ways. And then when you can allow yourself to be able to look at them in their eyes and being able to not feel that hurt, that anger, that, you know, you're ready to just choke somebody, you know, that type of feeling you know that you you have truly evolved you know because it's just like we always got that monster in our closet there's things that allows us to where you know if it's placed in our lives we have get a whole new different body body language our demeanor just changes and mine gets like that when i'm around my, my, my you know my family and it's just like even though they're not my family i just calm people in my past you know i have to really be able to look at that and just be like you know, this is where your, your turning point goes. You know, you have to be able to face certain things in your life that you, you can't allow to affect you anymore. It's just like when you know you're on that way of becoming something that you have never been able to know before. It's just like you're, you're becoming this new person that you have like evolved in so many different ways. And I went 360. The negative people are not going to know how to approach you anymore because they were like, oh, oh, oh wait a hold up. You know, because I was always that type of person. If I didn't like you, I made it known I didn't like you. And I'm just like, oh, I just don't like you. <laughs> you know, and I'm just like that. You know, and I've been like that. I, I never bit my tongue about stuff like that. But now it's like, you know what? Just because I don't care for you don't mean I have to be, you know, kissing butt or whatever like that. But I have to allow you to know you don't no longer have that effect on me anymore. And I have to really be that way. So it's just like, you know, you want to be able, you you tell the universe, I'm ready. You know, I'm ready. They will place certain things in your life to see if you're really ready. And you have to be able to know you're going to have to go through this one day. <laughs> if you haven't already experienced that. Because you will have things come from your past to be able to test you. Like, they will sit it right there in front of you. Are you going to grab for this? Or are you going to be like, you know, nah, I'm good you know, this is not even me anymore, you know, and I had to pass those tests, and it was just like, you know, I get it, I understand, I understand what y'all are trying to do, you know, and it, it, it can be very therapeutic for you, because it's just a lot of us has been, you know, hurt in so many different ways, the way it, it, it's like, I can understand why you would feel a certain way about certain people, but there comes a time where you need to be happy, you really need to be happy, you need to be in a loving therapeutic place where it's like zenful positive vibes and all this and it's like when you know you have to be there has to come a time you're not forgiving those people that did something to you for them you're doing that for you you need that peace of mind you need that happiness because it takes too much energy 
when you're 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 still throwing that that same old person back at them because that allows them to know you know what i still got them i still got them because look at their like rah 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 they're you know they're still up they're still up in their feelings about the things that i did to them so obviously i know i still got it scare the hell out of them by acting totally something they are not going to expect you to act like now that's when your true power comes in because when you know you have to approach some people like that that you know it has done you so wrong that they know they've done something so wrong and you can see them and you can act like a totally new different person and you got to be around somebody you got to approach like that don't get mad don't allow yourself to go back to that that point in time well even if that memory does come up you can tell yourself in your mind that no longer has an effect on me that no longer has an effect on me and that lets you know you are not the old person you used to be because see if you want better things in your life you cannot allow those things that has put you in that place that you had to go through your spiritual awakening to have you keep facing because the reason why you still have those memory pockets that keep constantly coming in and it makes you upset it makes you cry I, i've been there because i even though i might have said i healed when those things came back obviously my inner psyche was telling me you're not if you're healed you gotta be able to let this go and when you can allow something to come up like past vomit or that nasty wet burp you get where it burns the back of your nose you know or something make you, make you want to throw up the long way it's just like that's what a memory is those painful mirror memories when you can allow yourself to say you know what let allow this to go free but you're separating the emotion that came along with it because you truly deserve to be happy you don't need to be stuck in a place that you have you have outgrown you have worn out your welcome at that old life of yours you have really wear it out you're welcome because that's the reason why you had to go through that awakened state i mean i allowed my family to run me for so long i'm like i'm 42 years old these folks like halfway foot in the grave and foot is still on the earth why am i allowing these folks to still you know be up in my you know in my memory like that my memory bank when i don't even you know I, we ain't even on the same level <laughs> we are not even on the same level why am i allow you to still you know have that that kind of hold on me and i can't allow that not if i want the things that i want in life you know i mean if i want to sit up here and be a motivational speaker how am i going to still be feeling some type of way about the people that did this to me by trying to tell y'all oh you need to let it go that i mean that's not you know i'm not following what the heck i'm talking about and it was just like i really had to really see that and it was just like you know because i thought i was over it until my birthday came up and it was like it had me feeling some type of way you know it really had me feeling some type of way i was looking at my dad's picture and i just bawled just bawled like if it wouldn't be for them i wouldn't be da -da 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 -da. but if it wouldn't have been for them i wouldn't have known who i was if it wouldn't have been for them so that it was just like thank you for all the hell you don't put me through because it allowed me to see that i can be that motivational speaker for impasse i can be able to be that therapeutic person that can allow people to let them know what what has happened to you is not the product of you you're not molded into the thing that the pe people try to place you in you're not you, they try to place you in a box and say oh this person's like this because i did this to them people you know and it's it's sad when narcissistic people put you in something and they brag about that that i mean that's like the, i think that's the most weakest ass person that you can possibly be knowing that you can brag about how you done broke somebody down mentally emotionally sexually anything that lets me know you're the most weakest below anybody if you try to act like they're below you know you're the person that's below them because you did that to somebody that hurts that can really hurt because i'll be looking at people like how do you how can you think that's funny because that's not funny you know and i've seen people that's like that and you already know it's like dude you need more help than i do you know and it's just like you have to really see it like that but if you know you want to be somewhere in a level that you really truly deserve in which you truly deserve you have to be able to let those you know those little monsters in your closet that got you in that that type of way they do not have that effect on you you have to be that grown kid that's like oh i can sleep with the lights off i ain't got to worry about them and you really have to be that way so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video much love to you and trust and believe if you're currently still experiencing pain for somebody has placed on you allow yourself to know you will heal from that and you will allow that to 
be let go out of your life because you truly deserve to be happy and you need to be in a place that you don't have to feel stuck in so i hope you're able to resonate um i would like to say give my post notification shout out to uh elizabeth uh elizabeth uh oh, i wasn't even looking at the paper but I, I remember elizabeth gave me a shout out the other day and leaving her uh her comment but i'm gonna go say hi to her and diamond king and jay cartwright much love to you as well and i'll see you on my next video much love peace and be wow